So the queen of the herbs that helps to open what is commonly called our third eye, but I call it our first eye, right? the eye that sees true, the eye that sees beauty, the eye that sees that something is forming in the, in the um, chaos. Right? This is Artemisia vulgaris right? with her silver-backed uh, leaves that tell us of the moon and lunar and deep feminine wisdom for any and all genders or non-genders. Um, Artemisia vulgaris. And I like to look for um, oh, the scent. Um, this is Artemisia vulgaris, commonly called mugwort in the wise woman tradition. Uh, she was renamed by Susan Weed as cronewort. I like that. I like grandmother wart. It's, uh, it's, this is, um, you know, in the Anglo-Saxon traditions, they called her eldest of warts, eldest of the weeds. Here's how I think of Artemisia vulgaris. She's like the tree of the plant world. She's so venerable. She's like a tree of the plant world. And Artemisia, I, I like to look for a mirror in the physical medicine of a plant with the spiritual medicine of a plant. To me, that's like the gold standard of what I'm gleaning or someone has taught me. That's the gold standard of whether it's truth or whether it's a pretty concept, you know, or it were psychic woo-woo, you know, that means nothing. It, life is magical enough. Reality is multidimensional enough. I don't need to make stuff up. I want the real magic, right? And the real magic is this interconnected web that we're part of and that everything is, is part of this um, movement in this time to reweave, right? The web of healing, the, the, to restore, right? The compassion, the respect, our web of life with as much joy as we possibly can, which does not preclude our grieving. Our grieving is a piece of it. If we repress our grief, you know, then we can't find our joy. Um, but joy is large enough. True joy is large enough to hold it all. True joy holds the grief, contains it. And then when we open ourselves again, the joy is still there. It's still there. So, uh, and the plants are what is definitely the plants are who have brought me to this knowing. It's, it's been a journey. It's been a, a real journey. So Artemisia, I like to do anything from, you know, rubbing the leaf and smelling it, um, moving into meditation with uh, a beautiful, yeah, try that way, right? A beautiful first eye adornment, right? See, right away that shifts things inside. I could have done this whole talk with this. I would have talked slower, um, more slowly. The physical medicine of Artemisia, right, tones and strengthens the nerves, I, many other things, but just for this topic, tones and strengthens the nerves and improves brain function and memory, vast amount of minerals in this plant. I don't use the um, Artemisia in vinegar as an intuitive um, medicine. I'll tend to do this kind of thing, or um, here's a, here's a magical Artemisia tincture I made, and I might put that in water or perhaps, you know, put a drop on my hand and take it in that way. It's very good. Um, if I use it for medicine, I'm going to put it in water. But the vinegar is a great way to get the minerals. And there is a piece of practicing to deepen and develop or cultivate, right? It's, it's the intuition is innate, but the cultivation of it is what makes it a real um, life skill, right? Language skill, relationship skill, um, activist skill, so on and so forth. I find that practicing self-care is definitely related to this issue of deepening um, this gift of, of cultivating and deepening our intuitive wisdom skills. 
if I'm really running myself ragged, I can't listen. Um, and I don't think you can either. So um, because there's been a deep loss recently in my family, um, self-care is uh, strongly on my mind now. And in fact, all week as I was trying to prepare for this class, I kept finding myself thinking about things I wanted to talk about self-care. And then I remembered, oh, my recorded class for IHS is on radical self-care. So that satisfied me greatly. Um, to, to remember that. Uh, but nonetheless, or and, um, it also is true that uh, for many of us, the challenge to hearing our wisdom has to do with our um, nervous system being so fried, you know, and agitated. Uh, so taking care of the nervous system, right? This is a great plant for that as well as for deepening dreams daydreams, night dreams. Um, I, I call Artemisia the intoxicant that helps us to remember, right? To remember the deepest dreams of our heart. And then in that brilliant, multi-talented way plants have, when we dr use Artemisia in our um, food and in our drink and in our vinegars and so on, she also helps give us the strength and stamina and smarts and flexibility to bring those dreams into being, right? No plant does just one thing, though they do have particular gifts to share, certainly.